Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about message passing system. Two processes can communicate with each other by using message passing facility. So a message passing facility provides a mechanism to allow two processes to communicate with each other. So a message passing facility provides at least two operations, send message and receive message. Messages sent by a process can be of a fixed size or they can be of variable size. Two processes which want to communicate with each other, they must send and receive messages from each other. So there must exist a communication link between them. Processes that want to communicate with each other, they must have a way to refer to each other. They can use either direct communication or indirect communication. In this tutorial, we will study only about direct communication, right? And in next tutorial, we will study about indirect communication. So what happens in direct communication? Under direct communication, each process that wants to communicate must explicitly name the recipient or sender of the communication. So in this case, what happens is the sender has to specify the name of receiver and receiver has to specify the name of the sender. So suppose there are two processes P and Q, right? So what happens in uh, under the direct communication? Now see the send and receive primitives are defined like this. Send P message. It means send a message to process P and receive Q message. It means receive message from process Q. Now here you can see that there is symmetry in addressing, right? Both the sender has to specify the name of receiver and receiver has to specify the name of sender so in this case what happens a link is established automatically between every pair of processes which want to communicate with each other uh, because here they need to know only each other's identity to communicate and a link is associated with exactly two processes between each pair of processes there exists exactly one link right so here you can see that there is a symmetry in the addressing, right? So because of this, if uh, the process need to know only each other's identity to communicate with each other, right? So in this case, a link is established automatically between every pair of processes which want to communicate, right? They just uh, need to know only each other's identity, right? Now there is another variant of this scheme which employs asymmetry in addressing right so what happens in this case in this case sender has to specify the name of receiver but the receiver is not required to specify the name of sender so in this case you can see that uh, the send and receive primitives are defined like this right send p message it means uh, send message to process p right receive id message receive a message from any process here receiver doesn't need to specify the name of sender right but sender has to specify the name of receiver so here there is asymmetry in addressing now you can see this uh, receive primitive which is defined here it is defined like this receive id message here id it is a variable and it is set to the name of any process with which communication has taken place so, uh, in this tutorial, we have studied about direct communication, right, in message passing system. In next tutorial, we will study about indirect communication, right, how the indirect communication takes place in message passing system.